Okay, Daily Dosers, could you imagine bringing someone to church or bringing friends to hear Jesus? And this is all they get in the message? He clears his throat. <clears throat> no one tears a patch from a new garment and sews it on an old one. If he does, he would have torn the new garment. And the patch from the new isn't going to match the old. And your friends are looking at you and they're like, sewing tips? He brought me to hear it. And you're like, shh, I don't know. He's usually pretty good. Just keep listening. And no one pours new wine into old wineskin. If he does, the new wine is going to burst the skins. The wine's going to run out and the wineskin will be ruined. Nope. New wine must be poured into new wineskin. And no one after drinking the old wine wants the new because he says, I like the old better. I'll be here all week. And he walks off stage. And you're like, whoa, apologies to friends. Usually this guy is spot on. I mean, usually this guy is pretty amazing. And yet right now, Daily Dosers, you've been traveling with us. And for our 40 days of purpose, 40 days of freedom, maybe nothing gives better freedom to us than these two odd little stories that he has linked in that we call parables. You see, they come at a crux in Luke chapter 5 where Jesus isn't fitting in with religion. Jesus isn't fitting in with Judaism. Jesus didn't come to restore Judaism. He didn't come to put patches on the old religion. He didn't come to fill up an old religion. He came to make something brand new. See, already the religious leaders are shaking their head, not scratching it anymore at him. You're hanging out with tax collectors and sinners. You're not washing the proper way before meals. And it's Jesus going out of his way to say, I'm not going to fit in with your paradigm of God. It's Jesus's way of saying, I didn't come to patch up the old and I didn't come to fill up the old. I've come to do something brand new. See, you, you take an old garment that's already shrunk, uh, the elasticity is already out of it, and you put a brand new patch on it. After some watching, that patch is gonna start to shrink. Well, the, the threads that you've sewed it to, the elasticity, they can't stretch with it, so it's just gonna rip away. Now, when he gives that tip, everyone rolls their eyes. Everyone in the first century knows. No, 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 you're gonna find light cloth to patch light, like cloth. You can't have different eras of cloth. It's just gonna tear away, it's useless. His wineskin stuff was just a roll of the eyes moment for everybody. You take an animal skin, you tie off all the legs, you put grape juice in it, you hang it up in a cool, dry place, the fermentation, the bubbly's happy, ooh, that grape juice has become something good over the months to come. And what happens with fermentation, it just explodes that skin and it stretches. And when you look up and all your lamb skins are all real pudgy, you got some good fermentation going. And there's gonna be a day where that's good stuff. Now, everyone knows from that moment on, you can carry water, you can carry liquid in those lamb skins, but if you fill it with grape juice, what happens? fermentation, they can't stretch anymore. They've already been stretched out. So it burst at the scene. You no longer have wine. You have grape juice stained floor. I have not come to patch up your life. I've come to give you a new life. Your life can't contain this. I haven't come to fill your old life. I've come to make you born again. Your life can't contain this. I haven't come to be your religious redeemer. I've come to give you a brand new relationship. I'm not fitting how you wash your hands. I'm not fitting the crowds that you think you go to and don't go to. I'm giving you something brand new. By the way, a lot of people like their old life. A lot of people like the old wine. They're not gonna try this new thing. So be it, that's on them. It's Jesus saying, I haven't come to bless your life. I've come to change it completely. I haven't come to fix your old life. I've come to redeem it. I'm taking it, buying it back, and I'm giving you a brand new life. It's Jesus' way of saying, I'm sorry if your little kid's church told you that you can say a prayer and Jesus will be part of your life. It's Jesus' way of saying, I will never, ever be a part of your life. Your life can't contain me. I'm inviting you to walk in my life. I'll take all of it or I'll take none of it because I will burst it at the seams. You want freedom. Give up on your life and hold on to both hands with his and walk practicing the presence of God. You want frustration with Jesus? Try to get him to be a part of your life. He's going to bust it at the seams. He's going to escape it. It's not going to work. It's a brilliant parable that left a lot of people clueless. For you and I, we call it freedom. See you tomorrow.